Hi, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we will talk about what is fire, combustion process, fire triangle, fire tetrahedron, and different classification of fire. So, what is fire? As we all know, generally we can say combustion or burning in which substance combines chemically with oxygen from the air and typically give out bright light, heat and smoke. In this reaction, substances act as fuel. And fire triangle. As we all know, fire is a chain reaction. For combustion to continue, there must be constant source of fuel, oxygen or heat. These three components are called fire triangle. If one of these not present, the fire cannot be started. If one of these is taken from the fire, it will go out. That is called fire suppression. Anything that suppress fire is called fire extinguisher so fire extinguisher usually do removes one or more of this component from the reaction in fire tetrahedron the chemical reaction between the fuel heat oxygen represent the fourth component of the fire equation if there is no healthy chain reaction, the fire cannot be continued, it will get suppressed. So that's all about the fire and what should be there for healthy combustion or how to suppress the combustion. We discuss about this R. Now, what are the classification of fire or fire classes? Mainly, there are five classes of fire that are class A, class B, class C, class D, and class K. So, let's talk about class A. A stands for ash. That means anything that burns and give out pure ash. Examples are wood, paper, cloth, etc. To suppress this, we usually use water and let's talk about classification class classification B or class B type of fires. B stands for barrel that means the liquid type of fuels examples are gasoline oil grease and other solvents other liquids class C type of fires C stands for electricity or current anything that came from current or electricity is called is categorized under this classification Examples are computer, fax, machine, other energized electrical equipment, anything that works under electricity is and un came under this classification. And fire classification D. D stands for dynamite. All metal came under this classification. Examples are magnesium, sodium, potassium, titanium, and other flammable metals. And finally, class K. This is recently recognized by NFPA. NFPA stands for National Fire Protection Agency. Fire involves combustible oil, lards, and fats in commercial cooking. That means the major types of cooking oil 
or edible oil came under this classification. That's all about the fire classification. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's see you on next video. Thank you. Bye bye.